we have our dear Mr. Scott Tips. Thank you, Scott, for coming. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, Scott everybody. Tips. He will be presenting the new GDXA crossover synthesizer concept. Great. Great to be here. It's great to see everyone. And I'm very excited to be able to show you some of these new products. Of course, the JDXI is the first installment of this crossover concept. Our highest level of DSP technology combined with our analog technology as well. So just to give you a quick little run through, um, four parts, two di uh, three digital parts and one analog part. Nice filters. Great sounding drum. Really nice. Also analog parts. Three oscillators. Sub oscillators. Perfect keyboard for every musician, whether you're a backpack musician or a very serious composer, producer, incredible. Now, uh, let me just play a pattern for you. It also works kind of like a DJ box as well. So I can tweak. idea very cool very easy to operate now there's also a vocoder many different options Very, very cool, very useful, a lot of fun. Now, there's also LFO capabilities. So you can sync to the LFO with your group, with your DAW. Very important for electronic dance music. four-part sequencer. You can do it on uh, like TR uh, recording style or also you can do it uh, real-time or step-time. Let me just show you how easy it is. So if I want to just create a drum groove real quick, I can just set it into record. I put my kick drums in place. 50% done with my song. Very cool. Snare. Hi-hat. Tweak the high hat a little bit. Add another part. great for every musician. That's a JDXI. Amazing, very, very cool, a lot of fun. Now, hey, thanks a lot. Okay, now let's go to the big brother. Now the JDXA is the most advanced uh, product that we have in the crossover line right now. Um, four parts analog, four parts digital. Now the analog parts can be played uh, separately or they can be played polyphonically. So, let me see here. Okay. Okay, for instance, I have this, uh, I'm gonna play you an example where it's just using one tone of the analog part. I'm 
tweak filter. Now, I'm going to bring in another part. Killer sound, amazing. Thank you, thank you very much. I have to tell you, you know, what's so great for me about the, the JDXA is that it really covers every sonic possibility that you, that you want to have. A keyboard player, you just love to sit behind an instrument and then you feel that power, just that feel that strength of sound and the flexibility. And then, as also as a keyboard player, you want to have all of those unique possibilities that you have in the digital world with the highest level of DSP technology. So with both of, with that in mind, we have the JDXA. Now let me just give you an idea. Now we can run the analog parts separately for, or we can run them together so we can have four part polyphony. So if I have this sound. Filter is killed. Now I'm gonna bring it down and now I'm gonna add the digital parts. I'm going to add two digital parts so you can tell like it starts to add a little bit of fairy dust to the sound. It's so fun. It's so fun to have that strength right at your fingertips. Now, okay, I'm going to play an, uh, an example where I'm kind of going to take our super saw technology that we've developed, you know, it's kind of a rolling thing, and I'm going to put it through a saturation through the, the digital filter and kind of tweak the sound a little bit. Now, this is a sound sculpting machine, okay? There's no parts, there's no drum part, okay? There's eight part sequencing that you can really mold the sound if you like but there's no drums, so I'm playing the drums from uh, the DAW. Awesome, just awesome sound. Now, also there's an arpeggiator. It's very nice. And the thing that I like about this is that I could, set, I could again, saturate it, make the sound very strong, put it through the effects, the real-time effects. Not only are there individual part effects, but there's also real-time effects. So I have this. sound and really just push it to another level. Now, I'm going to play for you sort of like the JDXA theme song that I really like. This will show off 
the four parts that I'm using coming in from MIDI, okay, and I'm tweaking them in real time, and some other cool LFO things. be so crisp and so sharp. Um, so now, just let me just do a little bit of recapping and let me just show you a little bit more on how the digital sound and the analog sound sort of work together. Now of course, I have this bell sound. You can't really get this from an analog, you know, waveform. Super bells, but now with with the uh, the supernatural sound engine on the on the on the digital side, that super metallic sound now becomes nice, right? Now let's take it the other step and go through mostly analog sound, and let's do the same filter sweep. takes it to a whole nother level. Now, um, here's a, a digital sound, but it's warmed up through the analog filter. Again, pretty amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to finish off with one last song that really shows off the uh, arpeggiator, and uh, I hope you enjoy it.
that's a JDXH.